Hello all, today in this video we are going to find out the RNS configuration in biphenyl system. Okay, so biphenyl, first of all, what is biphenyl? Which means you have two phenyl groups, right? Two phenyl groups. See, this is one phenyl group and this is another phenyl group. First of all, you have to know the basics. For example, uh, to be optically active, biphenyls should have bulkier groups okay it should possess some bulkier groups see this is biphenyl see consider this as biphenyl this is one ring another one is this okay this is biphenyl now what happens is in the first case it is hydrogen here also one hydrogen here also one hydrogen similarly here these two groups are hydrogen in this case hydrogen atom is very smaller in size hence there will be no steric repulsion okay no steric hindrance hence you would have studied in your lower classes that conformations, right? Carbon-carbon uh, sigma bond rotation. See, if you are having carbon-carbon double bond, you cannot rotate that bond as easier as in case of carbon-carbon single bond. Whenever you have carbon-carbon sigma bond, it is very easy to rotate, okay? It will undergo rotation. It is known as conformation or conformus, okay? So, similarly, in this case also, here all the groups are very smaller no steric hindrance so it can easily undergo rotation okay it will rotate this biphenyl will undergo rotation but see in this case nitro is not that much a smaller group because nitro will be like this okay it is somewhat bulkier one in this case what happens is there will be some steric repulsion okay there will be some steric hindrance due to the steric hindrance what happens to the phenyl system is this is the biphenyl system this is one ring and this is another ring so now what happens is due to the steric repulsion this plane will turn like this okay it will undergo 90 degree rotation in order to minimize the steric hindrance see uh, you can consider this is nitro group okay this is nitro group and this is fluorine okay this is nitro this is fluorine and now similarly here also there is a fluorine and nitro now what happens is to the steric hindrance this particular biphenyl will undergo rotation okay it will undergo rotation now the steric hindrance will be minimum right because uh, one fluorine is faced upwards another one nitro will be below right so here it is nitro fluorine and in this case now it undergo rotation and the fluorine is above the plane and nitro is below the plane uh, i think you you can understand right so it is one is above the plane the line that is uh, darkened okay the line that is darkened means it is above the plane it is wedge so it is above the plane if it this is above the plane obviously this will be below the plane right if this is wedge this should be in dashed position they will not mention but you have to understand this right whenever you have biphenyl system and you have larger groups definitely there will be steric repulsion and due to the steric hindrance it will rotate okay it will rotate in order to minimize the steric hindrance as a result what happens one group will be pointing upwards that is above the plane another group will be below the plane the one that is wedged you may have this confusion because the biphenyl can rotate like this or it can be like this also so if they are giving you dashed line this is present above the plane so in this case nitro group is this fluorine group is this and one fluorine is pointing above this thumb okay this thumb is fluorine okay the little finger is nitro this is how it will be right so this is the basics about biphenyl system okay so first thing the first condition to be optically active it should have bulkier groups this fluorine and all very smaller in size and there will be no repulsion as a result it will be like this so it is optically inactive okay this one is optically inactive this is also optically inactive actually this is the biphenyl okay optically inactive so to be active it should have some bulkier groups like nitro and so3h bromine like this okay and now after you have find out that the particular compound is optically active okay optically active it consists of some larger groups in that case how to find out the rns configuration it is very simple as in case of alenes and spiranes so here also we are following the same rules see first of all you have to look for the groups that are present on the plane okay these two are optically inactive see in this case 
this is uh, on the plane right this is on the plane the one that is rotated the one that has solid line and uh, a dashed line that is not on the plane okay that is not on the plane so first of all you have to look for the groups that are present on the plane okay on the plane now between these two groups you have to give the priorities okay this is nitrogen atom this is fluorine atom obviously you have to give the priority to fluorine and next comes nitrogen now you have to look for the another side it is a fluorine and NO2 now it is 3 and it is 4 right you have given the priorities now now what's the next step you have to rotate and check from 1 to 2 then 2 3 1 2 3 okay I think I can use some other colors 1 2 3 okay now it is clockwise direction okay it is clockwise direction which means it is R and the same rule the fourth priority group should be in dashed position see in this case this is third priority this is fourth priority the fourth priority are present in the dashed line so no need to invert the configuration simply it is r okay what you have to do once again i am repeating the for the same example this is no2 f f no2 okay this is they have given you like this first of all what you have to do you have to look for the uh, groups here NO2 is somewhat bulkier hence this is optically active next what you have to do you have to prioritize okay you have to prioritize the groups that are present on the plane okay on the plane so on the plane it is uh, 1 2 and here it is 3 4 now you have to rotate 1 2 3 it is clockwise okay clockwise means r and the fourth priority group should be in dash here this is above the plane means definitely this will be below the plane the fourth priority group is in below the plane so no need to invert the configuration simply it is r configuration okay this is how you have to find out the rns configuration in biphenyl system similarly now let us find out for this group okay what's the first step so3 is bulkier no2 is also bulkier definitely there will be some uh, steric hindrance due to steric hindrance the biphenyl system will in order to minimize the steric hindrance it will rotate okay it will undergo 90 degree rotation and now the nitro group so3h group is present on the plane and one so3h group is above the plane no2 is below the plane okay no2 is below the plane now you have to give the priorities on for the groups that are present on the plane right so it is uh, for sulfur one nitrogen 2 because it based on atomic number okay now it is 3 and 4 right now you have to rotate from 1 2 3 it is our configuration see the fourth priority group the fourth priority group is also present in the dashed position so no need to invert the configuration simply it is our configuration okay this is how this is also our and in this case methyl 1 hydrogen bromine 3 1 2 3 it is anti-clockwise anti-clockwise means s now look for the fourth priority group it is present on the dashed so no need to invert the configuration it is yes okay if suppose the hydrogen is here and the bromine is here definitely you have to invert the configuration and write it as r configuration okay now in this case fluorine 1 nitro 2 and uh, it is 3 4 the numbering is based on purely based on atomic number okay atomic weight next it is so 1 2 3 it is r configuration the fourth priority group is present on the dashed position so no need to invert the configuration if suppose the same group is present like this see again i have written the same question because it was not clear so i have written the same question see suppose the question is like this what you have to do first of all you have to look for the groups that are present on the plane fluorine 1 nitrogen 2 now one is above the plane another one is below the plane so for oh you have to give the third priority and this is fourth priority because oxygen has more atomic number right hence it is three and four now you rotate and check it as anti-clockwise direction but the fourth priority group is now present above the plane okay actually it should be in dashed configuration right but in this case it is in wedge position so you have to invert the configuration the right configuration is r right this is how you have to find out the rns configuration
okay so this question is for you okay this particular question has was has been asked in gate 2010 okay so you have to find out the absolute configuration that is rns configuration this compound is having r configuration or s configuration that is what you have to find out and try to share your answers in the comment section okay I hope this video will be helpful for you. If you find this video helpful, then kindly like this video and share with your friends. Stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching.